Well, hello ladies. Uh, it's Annie again from Unique Decoupage. Today I am going to show you how I do reverse decoupage. Here is one that I actually made the other day, which is a, it's a glass plate. And the back I have left just plain. You can um, paint it at the back if you like and then do more decoupage napkins on the back, but because I'm not doing it with this particular item, I have just, just done it for the front. So I think that's quite a, a pretty sort of little Christmas, Christmas plate. So today I'm going to show you, oops, try to get the, the whole size in there for you, um, how we do that. So the napkin, I'm actually doing this for a friend of mine, and the napkin that I'm using is this napkin, which is very, very pretty. It's a really sweet little napkin. And this is the glass place, plate sorry, that I am using. So, um, the actually, the if you're interested in finding out uh, where to get hold of these plates, it's very shallow. I get this from Hedy's Hobbies um, and Crafts. She's on Facebook, in a Facebook group. I will put her link in the video or at the bottom when I upload it. Uh, she does all sorts of craft ideas. So this is where I got my plate from. So we'll work on the napkin and how I've done it is I've worked by taking one half of the napkin and I've just literally just cut it in half. Now um, straight away at this point I will be, there's no cutting out, you literally put that whole napkin on but because the base of where the the bottom part of the uh, stockings is very very close to the edge here which is going to be sitting very close onto this edge so it's going to be there's not going to be any overhang so it's going to be quite difficult to put on so what we do make sure we have our mod podge and everything ready uh, same brushes i'm using is obviously my mod podge brush my flattening down brush for any creases the um, emery board which i'll be using at the very end and then of course my varnish brush so i'll put those out of the way for the moment so we're going to deal with the Mod Podge. So I hope all you ladies are well. Uh, as you can see, actually, I'm starting to, to do my Christmas ideas. So these will be on my on my page for, for sale. Uh, this particular one um, won't be, but I will be making more over the next couple of weeks. So what we do, we start with the plate. Well, actually, better still start with a napkin so remember three ply so we're going to tear those down to one ply now with the back of these the two the two plies that I'm actually removing we will be using these so do keep them to one side because we will be getting back to those because they will actually go on the back just to make it a little bit more um, non-see-through on the final finish. So what we do is this turn the plate upside down and then literally we cover the whole of the back with Mod Podge. Important that you get this on fairly quickly because if you get any areas where, excuse me, that's the train deciding to go past right at the time, um, where it starts to set, it goes see-through. And this is what you will actually see on the other side. So you don't want this to happen. So the sooner you can get this on a nice coat, like so, a little bit on just to do the, the final bit, which is top to bottom, top to bottom, right the way to the very edge. Now the point now is to make sure that this doesn't drop dry. Sorry, I haven't got my teeth in today. Huh. I haven't got any teeth full stop, so I don't know why I'm saying that. Um, but the whole idea is don't let this dry too quickly. Get your napkin, 
and then place your napkin face down over your dish oopsie and like I said this is going to be quite a difficult one it will maneuver a little bit but not a lot so be very careful I try and do the center line first and then as much as I can I bring them out to the outer edge it will stick quickly so do be careful right my favorite cling film over the top oops that's not quite over there there we go over the top center out center out okay center and out all right and then magic tool my nice flat brush and start going around holding your cling film in place and also stopping your plate from moving about when you're doing this particular process like I was saying this this does have to be quite quick you getting the napkin on because you don't want the Mod Podge to dry quickly because if it does it actually leaves like a clear streak through your end result which you won't be able to get rid of keep going all the way around remembering those edges get those edges down most importantly so the edges down keep rubbing keep rubbing there we go now peel your cling film off very very carefully because I've noticed when I do any glass especially this type of dish actually sorry I need to plug in my hairdryer um, the glass seems to keep the glue quite sticky so it's very easy to break so now we dry that check so that's your first coat and the fact the napkin is now on so you have that so now we carry on working on the back now this next layer you don't have to be too particular I mean be particular of course but when it comes to um, uh, putting it on and getting it level don't worry so much about that so well get it level of course you do Right, so pop your Mod Podge on. Again, be quite quick with this because even though we've just given it a bit of a dry with the hair dryer, it still can rip. All the way round. Make sure you cover that well. With doing this particular project, um, reverse decoupage, you do tend to use, whoopsie, you do tend to use a lot of Mod Podge. So make sure that you do have plenty in stock. Okay, so you get that on. Now you get one ply that you've taken off from the original napkin and pop that over the top. Get your cling film, pop it over, center out, center out, then round the sides smoothing out always from middle out not middle in again your wonderful little flattening down brush all the way around like I said before sometimes you will get wrinkles and you can't really get rid of every single wrinkle but being a craft 
um, it, it's expected sometimes in some of the, the craft work. And actually sometimes I have actually seen some that they got wrinkles in there and actually matches in beautiful with the with a napkin. <laughs> so anyway, make sure you do your outsides all around those edges. They are so important to seal and make sure you've got them right the way down. So peel your cling film off, get your Mod Podge and give it another coat all around the edges first. And if you notice this time round, I didn't dry with the hairdryer. No particular reason. Um, I think it's because sometimes I do do it out of habit. But to be honest, it's not really necessary with these particular coats because this is just a backing for the back of your your dish. I seem to have a few lumps in my Mod Podge. Just make sure that when you do your final coat, that that is a little bit more smoothed over nicely. Make sure all your edges are done. Then grab, <coughs> excuse me, your last ply. Let's see, put it the right way around. And pop that over the top. Then your cling film center out, center out, and smooth. There you go. And now a brush all around the outside. So I'm being quite quick at doing this, so I'm actually hoping it does turn out uh, okie dokie, I hope. If not, I don't know if I've ever mentioned it before, but if you ever do make a mistake um, and you need to do it again, you've got enough napkins to be able to do it again, this is very, very easy to, to remove. Just soak it in hot water, a little bit of soapy water, and then just make sure that you rinse it off properly with plain hot water because you don't want any part of the soap remnants being left on. So, last one, making sure you go all the way around those edges. Take off your napkin very slowly. Now, I don't know if you can see from, from where you are, probably not, but in the middle here, it's actually starting to raise up. So this is one of the reasons why now at this point, I'm gonna make sure that I just give that a quick dry over and tap it down. Now what the hairdryer actually does, again you probably wouldn't have seen it in the video, but as you're drying it draws the napkin back down onto the glue, so you don't have to tap it and all this. Um, it automatically does it itself, it sucks it in, so that is actually lovely and smooth now. So that's our three coats, which is the, the whole napkin, and this is the effect that you get. As you can see it's the reverse decoupage now. Also. Sometimes you'll get like here where the glue is still quite wet because it's showing through. So what I'm going to do, oh and over there, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dry that a little bit more because I don't want to seal it if it's still quite wet. So excuse me, I'm just going to get one more go over the hairdryer.
this. Yeah, that's getting better. Yeah, if I do a little bit more on this side. That's perfect. Okay, so now we're going to deal with these edges before we we actually uh, start to put our final coat on. So making sure that they're quite quite secure and there isn't any that we've missed. So I just go round just to make sure that one's over glued over the top there, but that doesn't matter. We can clean that up as the final thing. Okay, lovely. So get your emery board, well used emery board, this one. Oops. Okay, now I'm going to turn this, I hope you've got a good view down. I'm just going to turn it slightly to me and put this down. So remember, short, sharp, you know, uh, can you see that okay? Yeah. So very short, sharp motions to get this edge off and if you notice after a while I take my hand off the or well, the emery board is actually removed from the plate it's because you get remnants of what you're actually brushing off and glue and everything on your emery board so I just wipe it on my trousers and then it just clears up the the uh, emery board again to keep going down and I do need to get some more emery boards I, I go through these like nobody's business making sure you get right onto those corners so it makes a nice neat edge I mean do please let me know if anybody's had a go at using an emery board to do your edges it would be nice to hear if anyone else has actually found it a, an excellent way of getting rid of the excess napkins and I think it's a very, very good way. But there are some items where I actually can't use this technique. Um, so I have to painstakingly go around and cut it and to play around with them. But in general, this isn't a super way of getting rid of those edges. quite difficult because I'm trying to to hold it up so you can actually see the process as it's uh, as it's coming off so my left hand is taking a bit of a beating where I'm trying to keep it keep it still because it's wobbly doubling nearly there though nearly there and now we do the last little bit at the end
I've seen some fantastic reverse decoupage that people have done and oh some of the items are exquisite even if you put on YouTube reverse decoupage you'll come across so many tutorial videos and this type of thing and uh, oh yeah it's some people really have got it off to a fine art right again like I do with my coasters or anything that has an edge I just go just along the top to make sure I get rid of any glue or anything that I might have missed going round you don't have to be very hard doing this just very very gently and making sure it's all nice and clear right so that that's now all the edges so this is as far as we've got now and the final thing is going to be just two coats of the heavy duty varnish you don't need any more than that because obviously this being a glass plate you're not going to have anything apart from medium heat of maybe sausage rolls or something but that's not going to damage now anything like this as well do not put in the dishwasher or hot water they they do have to just be wiped over um, I mean you can use a little bit of soap of course you can but do not submerge it please don't otherwise it'll it'll be all mush now we're going to do some sealer <coughs> excuse me let's make sure that's down okay right it's our usual polyvine sealer that I use and my nice big brush again like normal just make sure that you do soak the brush tip well all of the brush not the brush tip but the whole brush get plenty of sealer on there and then we start all around the edges making sure they're the first thing that gets stuck all the way around and then across the actual plate remember it does go quite a long way <coughs> so you don't need to use too much and again I know this is an underneath part of an item but still keep going just the one way and then we dry that It's up to you how many coats you want to put on here um, I just give it two I think that's quite sufficient it's entirely up to you um, the coats help just to protect the decoupage so depending on how many times you're going to be moving the dish and this type of stuff um, you know then you put on the amount of coats that you feel that is just going to protect it a bit more up and down the center just make sure that everything is nicely covered and remember like I said before this is wonderful because you can actually see where you've been with this so you're not going to be missing out on an area and if you do you can quickly go back on it right one way one way just make sure those edges are well down. There we go. Now I'm going to give that another dry. Yeah. 
I didn't leave it that long to dry but I, because I didn't want the video going on for too long um, but I will give that another further dry just to give them that extra hardened effect on there uh, but for the video purpose that is the back and this is the front which I think is really 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 pretty so that's it so that is how we do reverse decoupage so thank you very much for joining me today and um, I will probably be thinking of other things I'm going to decoupage as the days go on so I will be sticking a few more I will be doing more reverse decoupages so I probably won't talk in some of them it'll just be a plain video and you can just watch me working through them and I've got a couple of candles that I'm going to be doing as well so I will be sticking those on so that's it thank you very much indeed for watching and uh, leave any comments or questions for me um, down below and I will also leave you the um, uh, oh the link to Hedy's hobby uh, so if, the, if you're thinking about doing a plate yourself then that's where to go thank you so much indeed and I will speak to you soon Thank you.